Good morning. Happy Monday. Hope your week is off to a great start. Myra here with our usual Monday check-in to see what can we focus on letting go of and what other things are kind of influencing us energetically. So if you're here with me live, say hi. Or if you're watching the, the recording and if there's anything I say in these sessions that brings up a question or you need some more support or clarity, just put it in the comments below. But here we are. This is the first full week of October, which is the beginning. Good morning, Marion. Beginning of the last quarter of 2020. I was just thinking about this this morning that, you know, the 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 vibe, if you like, of of 2020 from a numerology point of view was all about leadership taking ownership and leadership for your experience in life. And how's that working out? How are you feeling about the choices you make, about the way you live your life, about the way you set your intentions? Are you feeling in alignment with the beating of your own heart, walking to the beat of your own drum, which is your heart? This is the, like I said, this is the last quarter of 2020 and October from a numerology point of view again is a one month. So perhaps this is a time for us to look at what have we been doing? What are the shifts and changes? Cause let's face it, we've all made a lot of big changes this, this year. Now we get to walk with them. So how does that feel to you? What are you doing with that idea? Now, when we think about the, the where the moon's at, we're still in a gratitude phase, a phase of letting go. So we're going to focus on what we're letting go in order to get really, really clear with what are the actions to do. And when I talk about the actions to do, this is about aligning with your calling, with your higher self, with the information that's trying to get your attention. So following your inner guidance. And the other thing, too, is remember that, good morning, Ruthann. Good morning, Sheena. Oh, hi from your new digs. Good for you. I hope your move went in well, Sheena. So, like I said, how when I'm talking about taking action, I'm talking about aligning with your calling, with your unique gifts, and shining your own light. How are you doing with that? Is it lining up? Or are there still little conversations of the yeah buts or the I wish it was different. I wish I, I had more skills, more tools, more awareness, more alignment. And if that's what's happening, that's OK. None of this is right or wrong. It's just being willing to sit in with what's your experience and then allowing your heart, your emotions, your feelings to guide you to navigate and be the driver of your own bus. Because everything that you do, everything that you speak, everything that you feel, that's all part of your own navigation of these times of the, the, the life that you chose to be living in. So all that said, that's what it feels like stepping into this October month. October is also a time of being very grateful right? In Canada, we, we celebrate Thanksgiving this month, but October is a harvest month, right? So it's harvesting all of the, the benefits and the, the fruition of what you've been working on and planting throughout, you know, at the, at the beginning of this year. So like I said, take a nice sweet breath. And we're going to focus on this question of what can I focus on letting go this week in order to really align and recognize the gifts, the things that I'm harvesting, the things that I'm recognizing? And as we do that, we actually then get clearer on what are the seeds that we're going to nurture for growth for next year. Because this is the time when we, we bring our awareness in. We're grateful for all that we've created. But then we can also aspire to what is it what's next what are we going to do so what we're going to focus on letting go of and it's actually very very appropriate it's the story we're listening to 
or telling ourselves. So, and I kind of referenced that a moment ago about, are you feeling like I should have done something different or I wish I had that, that skill set or I wish I had agreed to something or not agreed to something. Check in to see, are you claiming authority over what voices are in your mind? Or are you allowing yourself to, you know, get get taken down a path that is not your story? Or you may be agreeing to something that you're not really sure that it's yours to do or to be or to speak or to agree with. So in this phase of the moon, this is a good time to just check in and say, is the story that I'm listening to or that I'm telling myself, is it aligning with what I truly know is the right best course of action or, or direction forward? So let me read out the, the description. And the other thing that's interesting is that this card in my deck is seven. Seven is all about analysis and from a spiritual space, like take to take the deeper awareness of this. So this is a big one. This is and, and it doesn't make it, it it makes complete sense as to why this is coming up as we sail into, like I said, the last quarter of 2020. So let me read this out here. You are not what's happened to you. You are what you choose to become. It's time for you to break the beliefs and the routines that have been holding you back. Respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer supports you. Listen to your intuition, not your ego. That's the listening to those voices in your mind. When you stop chasing the wrong story and beliefs, you give the right ideas the chance to catch up to you. There's a belief that without our labels, our stories, our so-called identities, we will become lost and we may even fear that we won't know who we are. Truth be told, you are a human being, not a human doing. It is time to give your human side room to grow and your being side space to just be. Your way will find you. That feels so, so powerful. Breathe that in. Come into that. Just be. Be who you really are. That's what's required for each one of us is to really be. And by doing that, we get to shine our light. So that's coming out of the head, coming into our heart. This is where we just be. Okay. So I'm now sh shuffling the tarot cards because for these wee sessions, these starting our weeks off, I like to pick one of the letting go guidance cards. Then we'll pick one tarot card and then three of Doreen Virtue's angel cards. Just feels like that's a really nice supportive way. They all seem to work really well together in doing this. Well, look at this. This is my favorite card in the tarot deck. It's the fool. Now, from a ta the tarot is like different phases and, and, and themes that we go through life. And why my the, the fool is my favorite card is it's about trust. It's about being and allowing that sense of fun, of play, of I'm here to have fun and, and be that human being. So see how can you embrace, embody, breathe in some of the fool's energy. Don't get caught in labeling it. The fool means I don't know anything. The fool really does know. And the fool is, is embarking on a journey. So this is a beautiful uh, synchronicity because think of all the things that you've experienced, all the, the changes that you've made throughout this year up until this point. Now you get to say, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And I get to follow what my calling is, what my soul's guidance is, what my heart is whispering to me as guidance. So this is the energy that we are in during these times. I hope that makes sense to you. So now I'm pulling three cards here for the support 
for this. And these are doozies. So the very first one that's come up for us today, and this actually takes us through a nice wee path here. So the first one is forgiveness. So, you know, if we start to let go of labels and stories and, and patterns, we might start to feel like, oh, you know, I should have known better or, or I wish I hadn't done that. Just forgive you, forgive situations, forgive the politics, forgive everything and let it go because you are still choosing. Even if you decide not to make a choice, that's still a choice. And so sometimes when we really land into that, that it's like, yes, everything that I'm experiencing, I'm creating. There's no shame no no space for guilt and so so that's a, a really important part is to forgive and by doing that then you can start to listen listen to your higher guidance your higher self whispering in your ear listen to what your heart is directing you towards it's it's time to just start taking things slower watching your breath and watching your words so that you actually align with the guidance that's already there. It's waiting for you. It's always been there. It's about creating a space of serenity. That's the final card in these three. Serenity to, you know, sometimes when we feel like we need to do something or we need to take action, and, and yet when we really breathe on it, we realize, no, this isn't the right time, then that can actually allow you to open up to surrender and lean into the guidance that was trying to you know help you navigate that situation i hope that makes sense so thank you so much for watching this is a big week um let me know if you need any any further clarity or guidance on this but do watch the words you're speaking to yourself about yourself watch the words that you're listening to if they don't resonate then it's time to change the channel and listen to the guidance of your core. Thank you for watching. I wish you a wonderful week. Much love.